Friends, have you ever wished you could automate your business without spending hours on setup or writing a single line of code? Imagine describing your needs in plain English and in just a minute, getting a working system that manages everything for you. I am Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today, we're exploring Creao AI, a platform that lets you build full business apps simply by describing them in English. You'll see how we can create a complete order management system from scratch. We'll connect Google Sheets and Gmail, and even let Claude manage everything through chat. It's a practical, hands-on example of how AI can help real businesses automate daily tasks and save time. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Guys, imagine you're a small business owner. Every day you handle a constant flow of tasks, from orders and customer registrations to deliveries and reports. Doing all that manually takes hours. But what if you could simply tell an AI what you need and get a ready-to-use system in a minute? A system that automatically syncs with Google Sheets, sends emails and can even be managed through a chat with Claude. Today, folks, I'll show you Creo, a platform where you can build complete business applications just by describing them in English. Together, we'll create an order management system, connect real integrations, and teach Claude to control everything. Let's get started. Imagine I own a small bakery and need a system to manage my requests. It should save customer info and track bookings from new to completed or cancelled. I also want a dashboard showing total transactions, income, and those still in progress. Of course, there must be options to add, edit, and delete entries. I press enter and wait while Creo starts building my app. Next mates, I add integrations. I connect Google Sheets to collect all orders and Gmail to send emails to customers. Then I describe the business logic. When a request is created, all details are added. A confirmation email is then sent to the customer. When the status changes to completed, the customer should receive a notification that their booking is ready. I confirm both integrations. And now we can see that Gmail and Google Sheets are connected. The agent starts processing. Friends, our project is ready. Of course, it still needs Gmail and Google Sheets authentication, so let's set that up. We can view orders, create new ones, and open settings. There we need to enter the ID of our spreadsheet. Mates, I've already created a new document in Google Sheets and named it Orders List. The ID is part of the document's link. I copy it, paste it into our system, and click Save Spreadsheet ID. Now I expand the system to full screen and create a new booking. I enter a customer name and click Create Order. Immediately it appears in our orders list with the request number, customer name, and total amount. I can update the status, edit details, and manage entries easily. Then I check the spreadsheet. It's empty, so the connection didn't work correctly. Let's fix this through chat. I write that Gmail and Sheets integrations are not working and describe how I want them to behave. After that, I click Build again with both integrations and wait for the new result. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! And here it is. Our updated system is ready. All checks have passed and the issues are fixed. Previously, the data was saved in local storage, but now Gmail integration has been added along with success and error handling. The user interface has also been improved. Let's test it, folks. I create a new order, and there it is. I add another request for tomorrow's date, and everything is displayed perfectly in the orders list. I also added a header row, and everything works just as expected. Plus, I've received full order received confirmation emails in Gmail, so everything is functioning exactly as it should. Now the system runs smoothly. We can update statuses and track everything through the dashboard. However, I realize there's still something missing. I want all existing and new orders to sync automatically. So I decide to add a button called Sync All Orders to Google Sheets to manually trigger syncing when needed. I send the prompt and wait for generation. And there it is, friends, the new sync all to Google Sheets button. Let's open settings and test it. 
I click sync all orders and wait while the synchronization process runs. A moment later I check it and everything is successfully added. It works perfectly. Now it's time to integrate Claude. In the project settings I find a link for synchronization and copy it. Inside the assistant's own settings I paste that link to connect the two systems. This allows Claude to see all available methods and interact with them. I ask it to show requests from the bakery order management system. It lists all the connections and displays the full list of requests. Mates, I can even ask it to add a new one, and it does. I check the system and there it is. The new request has been added successfully. Everything works exactly as planned and is now fully set up. After testing the first version and exploring all its features, I decided it was time for an upgrade. The goal was to make the app look more professional and appealing for a bakery business. Now I'm asking Creo to add themed images of baked goods, enhance the color scheme with warm tones and give the interface a more modern feel. I send the request for generation and Creo gets to work. It also suggests a few AI tools for image creation and confirms the action. And now we can see the result. The AI took a creative approach and built a full order management dashboard with a clean, beautifully designed interface. It looks fantastic, guys. So folks, here's the takeaway. Crayow AI brings a fresh, human feel to automation. You explain your idea in plain English. The platform does the rest. It builds the system behind the scenes. This lets you focus on the bigger picture. It feels less like working with software and more like having a creative partner who understands your goals. For anyone running a small business or juggling daily tasks, it can genuinely change the way you work. You get back time, clarity and energy to grow instead of just keeping up. If you're excited to try it out or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.